Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from uh, the uh, for the uh, Monday, the first of May, two thousand and sixteen. This uh, the please be sure to uh, visit the tradesignaler.com website and download the latest app via the Google Play and the App Store, and uh, gain access to my market analysis along with others in real time. Okay, now in terms of European markets, it really is a um, uh, well, how can we describe it? A the aftermath of the yen rally or the yen strength. The Nikkei is down again this morning uh, overnight. Uh, the Nikkei is down almost 500 points overnight, down 3%. Now the Japanese market is online today, then it's off for a three-day holiday, and ideal uh, for a market reversal on the back of a holiday. So. Certainly uh, expect some job on in there, and uh, expect the uh, the actual uh, dollar to be talked up. Okay, from my perspective, uh, so expect the dollar to be talked up and the euro to be talked down. Okay, and the yen to be talked lower as well. Okay, because the whole market really hinges on the USD JPY and the euro USD. Why? Because they are the only two central banks at this moment that are currently easing. Okay, you <clears throat> have the US obviously on the verge of uh, lifting rates further. Okay. And then you obviously versus the Japan uh, BOJ that's desperately trying to uh, fight deflation along with the uh, European Central Bank too. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So USD JPY is currently languishing at the 106 level, which really is a very interesting zone. Now, allow me to elaborate. Okay, so if I just bring up my USD JPY chart. Okay, dokie. Now on a weekly, <clears throat> you have the 200 MA at the 105. I, I've seen a lot of analysis that's indicating 105. Now, I don't expect 105 to be hit, okay? And I'll explain why I don't expect 105 to be hit. One of the reasons why I don't expect 105 to be hit is because the HNS target is 106. Now 106 has been hit, and I expect a, a short squeeze rally from here, okay? Now, just bear with me one second. Keep an eye on that chart, folks, okay? The 106 low. Just going to take a, a long position on the Euro, Euro stocks. Uh, long Euro stocks, 3033. Uh, 3002 is my uh, stop loss, and I'm uh, looking for 3060. Target okay, so that's my uh, current trade at the moment on the euro stocks, right? Okay, so okay, so let's try and decipher this. Okay, so basically looking for uh, a move higher here, okay, in the European stocks. Now that's going to be led by the yen, okay? So I'm looking for yen depreciation, I'm looking for USD JPY move higher, and obviously equities will follow. The daily chart of the USD JPY, although one could argue that the next potential support is at the 105 zone, I think this is going to catch a lot of people uh, by surprise, and uh, it could be quite a powerful short squeeze rally. Okay, so keep an eye on that, folks. Okay, for the USD JPY, the 60-minute chart is already showing you signs of uh, of bullish uh, price action, given the fact that you had this uh, bottoming tail here, you obviously held this pivot low here, and we haven't had a subsequent low thereafter. Okay. So that in and of itself is showing you uh, a bullish price action. Obviously, we've got this um, channel, which the market really has respected to a large extent. Okay, so looking to break out of this channel higher. Okay, and looking to move. Okay, so <clears throat> target 107.5, then target 108, and then target 108.5. So watch out for that. The 10 minute chart, as you can clearly see here, uh, carving out a potential bottom and certainly looking bullish from my perspective. Okay, so certainly looking very healthy. Okay, so again, uh, your resistance zone remains here where previous resistance equals support at the 1067, 1068. Okay, if you break above that, then you have this next zone here. Okay, and then you have this zone here. So 107.5 again, potential zone and potential area. So to watch out for. Okay, but. The fact that we've held 106 certainly is a bullish sign. So we are looking to build a potential base here 
there's been low lower low so which is a healthy side and we're looking to potentially break out now in terms of jaw boning okay so we've got mr lockhart speaking again he's going to be hawkish we have ism data market pmi data out of the us ism prices paid construction uh, we have mr draghi speech as well which again will be interesting so some more jaw boning there for the euro trying to talk it down the usual rhetoric of yes we will do everything with uh, within our capacity utilizing our tools etc etc and that should be sufficient enough you have fed mr williams speaking later on as well so lockhart and williams should do the trick to uh, force a dollar higher and uh, which in turn obviously will send equities higher as well due to the fact that usd jpy moves higher your usd moves lower and it's all honky dory okay right so that's the situation here folks okay from a usd jpy perspective now the nikkei allow me to build okay okay so why, why am i bullish allow me to explain one of the reasons why i'm bullish is because we are into gap fill support on the nikkei so if you add in the fact that the nikkei has closed the gap and is into gap fill support and you add in the fact that the usd jpy is into support what does that tell you okay Think of it from an intermarket analysis perspective. It's telling you yen, but it has put in a potential um, top. Okay. If I show you the chart of the yen, let me just bring up my DXY, DX, uh, FX, CM uh, uh, chart of the yen. You can clearly see here we've put in a double top. Okay. This is a daily chart. So the yen has put in a double top. Okay. So if the yen has put in a double top, that means the yen is going lower. If the yen is going lower, that means the USD JPY is going higher. If the USD JPY is going higher, that means the dollar is going higher. If the dollar is going higher, that means the Euro USD is going low. The Euro USD is going lower, then we all know what happens to equity. So, Euro USD lower, USD JPY higher, and, and that's uh, one hell of a cocktail for an equity market rally. Okay, I think that sums it up. Now let's bring up the um, the uh, economic data for this morning. Uh, let's just quickly go over that. Yes, we had a weaker Chinese. Uh, PMI reading over the weekend, so again that did send uh, markets into risk aversion to start the day off. Uh, thereafter, thereafter, we've had um, Chinese data that certainly were on the weaker side. Okay, although the PMIs out of uh, Japan and South Korea certainly on the stronger side. Okay, uh, we've had Spanish PMI stronger, the Swiss retail sales weak, but the purchasing PMI is certainly stronger. We've had um, French, uh, oh, sorry, Italian PMI is stronger, French PMI weaker, and German uh, obviously uh, weaker slightly as well, although one could argue it's coming in line. And then the uh, European PMI is certainly stronger as well. So overall, net net, okay, net net, you're looking at uh, overall uh, generally positive sign, okay, and that should uh, help alleviate the concerns from this uh, stronger yen. And we've already established that the yen is obviously into resistance and the euro usd is into potential resistance too now having said that i've got nothing to be ashamed of i've been stopped out twice in the euro now one over the weekend one this morning okay i attempted to short the euro at the 1.1460 zone as you can see here the important zone 14160 okay and the market certainly has pierced right through there and uh, hit a pivot high of uh, if i can just recollect correctly now 1.1493 my stop was at 91 so i was stopped out okay but i'm still expecting weakness here because of the fact that yes um the pmi is generally stronger but it's not strong enough to uh, justify the uh, euro pacing through the 1.1460 zone okay now we do have this diagonal trend line so again we're going to watch this carefully and looking for a potential top top based on there okay so it certainly knocked out a few stops Obviously, with Mr. Draghi, I'm surprised it's knocked out stops. Even Mr. Draghi speech later on today, very surprised. Okay, but again, the market will do uh, the most irrational and logical thing before it actually reverses and goes in the intended direction. So always on your stops because you don't know what the consequences could be. You live on to fight another trade, another day, and uh, you focus on your next trade. Don't allow it to uh, obviously uh, uh, not insult your uh, intelligence or insult your mindset just basically be neutral think about your next trade and take out all emotions from trading okay right so weaker chinese data mixed european data but overall nothing of any major major concern given the fact that germany was in line although france is a slight concern 
if you look at it from an individual basis. Now we look forward to Mr. Lockhart's speech and Mr. Williams. Uh, that should be interesting. And like I said, that's the uh, outlook. I'm expecting uh, dollar strength or them to talk up a potential rate hike, which in, in and of itself will help the uh, the actual stock market. Okay, so let's have a look at a technical picture now. So let's bring up the Euro stocks chart. So Euro stocks chart on the 60 minute is into its 200 MA, is into horizontal support. So therefore looking for a potential rebound. The 10 minute chart has broken out of its downward sloping uh, contracting wedge pattern. I'm not interested in that. The, the pattern that I'm looking at right now, given the fact that I'm actually long the Euro stocks now from this 3033 uh, zone, I'm looking for this inverted head and shoulders to play out. So your left shoulder is here. Your head obviously has been put in. You're looking for a higher low here. And off we go to the race. Now the pivot low is 3020. Uh, you got 3050. So I'm looking for 3080 now. And having said that, this is zone here is going to be uh, expect turbulence at the 3070 zone. Certainly expecting turbulence here. And then obviously you've got the ultimate gap fill at 3125. So that's something that we're going to keep an eye out for. Okay. Now in terms of the German DAX, let's bring the German DAX. Now we've had the inverted head and shoulders formation button already on the German DAX. We're looking to test the uh, 10 170 zone, and then you've got 10 240 above, and then the unfilled gap higher as well. So, certainly bullish from that perspective, okay, in terms of the German DAX. Looking at a 60 minute chart, we've held that lower trend line, we've held a bounce up to 200 MA, and the PMI data wasn't that bad either, okay, so just bear that in mind. Now, we're looking to bring up the French CAC, French CAC again, holding horizontal support, holding gap fill support, okay, for now, so therefore that alone is the catalyst for a short squeeze. 60 minute chart is into gap fill support and obviously is into uh, the uh, 200 MA, so therefore looking for a bounce here on the French CAC as well. Bringing up the FTSE 100 again, we are holding that support. Well, actually, having said that, the market's currently closed at the moment, but we are into that 6250, 6260 zone, and we all know the support at 6230 should technically hold. Okay, I think that's a summation, a good summation of European markets. My bias remains wrong on the Euro stocks, uh, given the fact that, like I explained, looking for a top in the in the yen and uh, looking for a potential top in the euro as well okay i think that's a a good summation be sure to visit cfds.com uh, make sure you visit the um, a tradesignaler.com website and download the latest app there folks okay and uh, like i said as always take advantage of the uh, potential 25 percent cash bonus offer terms and conditions apply at cfds.com goodbye